Well, this is, as the title says, Found Treasure Stories by Yiddish Women Writers. It's the first collection, anthology of Yiddish women writers. It in includes 18 writers. Not everything in this book is exactly as I would like it to be, as we all know. Uh, the, for example, the editors are not accurate, but anyway, whatever it is. But what we have also, we did a tremendous amount of research. Yivo provided us with wonderful photographs. So we have photographs of all these writers. Nobody had ever seen them. They didn't think they were, here's Esther, you know, Kreitman, uh, the singer sister, Rakuta Potash. They were all wonderful writers. Chava Rosen, I mean, one could talk about each one of them for a very long time, which I won't do given the uh, state of the battery. So this is, you know, the... The, the book is divided up into this kind. We felt that this, because it's the first book, we felt we had to include everything, and we couldn't leave anything out. So the, uh, we've already talked about the introduction, which is in itself a work, uh, it can stand on its own. Uh, and then we divided it up by various, you know, chronologically more or less. So then we have the biographies, which were very well researched by me and other people, mostly by me, based on the lexicon of Yiddish literature. That was my main source. And also Melech Ravitch a little bit. So in other words, this is not just, you know, they were born and they died. We tried to get as much as we possibly could. And then the, uh, the bibliography is very important because it really allows people to continue the research and so on. So that's, and then we had a glossary over which there was a great, you know, a lot of discussion. So that's it. So the book is in its fourth printing. It's used all over the world, uh, been translated to German uh, without my knowing it. And uh, so that's it. So every, but people know it. You go to a conference and, you know, you say, Frau Treasures, oh, yes, of course. So it's really made an impact. And of that, I'm very, very happy even though, you know, <laughs> it's a, at times a stochen hearts, but anyway, so on. So this book came uh, just a little while ago, I think it was published in 14 or 13. It's the exile book of Yiddish women writers. There was a little bit of a, um, a, a, a bloop, blooper, a, a slip of the tongue, and somebody wrote the exile, the exile of Yiddish women writers. They left out book, and so, which I thought is not so inaccurate. Um, here, once again, we were guided, and let me, I don't know if I should reveal the secret, but I will. Uh, who cares? I mean, I'll be gone by the time anybody knows this. Um, Canada, you know, they have a fund for translating, but the, the, you, the, the material translated, the original author has to be Canadian. So the, the translators don't matter. It's the content. It's, and so we had to find as many Canadian authors. Now, nobody's born in Canada who writes in Yiddish. So they were all, they came over different. But we, if they were here for half an hour, we made them Canadians. And so some of them, you know, st stayed long. But the, the good thing in here, we have, we have several, um, I mean, I love, I'm in love with all the writers. I mean, not all of them equally, but I love them. Um, so this is dedicated to Chava Rosenpop. She had just died. And Miriam Waddington, who translated what, the Rachel Korn story and found treasures, who was a very good, she wrote, she's well known mostly for her um, English her poetry and her short stories and her essays and so on. First of all, uh, some wonderful memoirs, the memoir of Chayla Grubber, who was one of the early Habima uh, actors. And so we see her and she meets Gebirtig. So, I mean, if, if one is interested in really being steeped in um, Jewish history, Jewish literary history, this book is very, very good because it has so many... Uh, so Chayla Grubber meets everybody, Vachtangov and uh, and uh, Gebirtik and she go and Kaiserman, especially Canadian Jewish history is very very uh, very well represented here. So you know what can I say? I'm pleased. You know, every time you do a book, you always wish you could do it over again, and that's just the way human nature is. Okay. So this is by these are um, friends from Winnipeg. Ria Tregoboff, uh, who was the editor pulled out from Found Treasures, is the editor here. Now, to my knowledge, she doesn't know Yiddish, but it doesn't really matter. She's Her mother is one of the members of the group. I sent them material because I have, I have hundreds and hundreds of Yiddish texts. So it saves people. They're not, nothing I have is in manuscript form, as we said, but uh, it's still easier if somebody sends you a photocopy than to have to go to a library and trace it and find it and so on. So I like this book. I like it because it's Canadian. Uh, it's the same. It's a woman's group. A lot of these women. Oh, I wanted to say about our group, I said that they were seniors. And one of the members said she does not want to be seen as a senior, so please take the word out. So I did. I mean, I do what people tell me to do. So here's same, some of the same, you know, writers, Sarah Hama, Jacqueline, Rachel Brochus, different translations. She, they, 
did Little Abrahams, which is in Bridges. And I don't like their translation. They probably don't like mine. So that's the way it is. And, but you'll see some of the same ones over and over again. Rikuda Potash, Chava Rosenfarb. You know, these are not people that anyone knew before. But this is good. It's a good book. And also by older women, Jewish women, <laughs> get together, they meet, and they come up with a book. And so these writers, are re it's, it's, that in itself is wonderful history, right? Even if this is not so great and this isn't, the fact that this was done, that you now have a record of all these writers and other people can go on and make it better.